No, I'm looking for a little white duck. You can't hardly miss him. His name's Quackers. Have you all seen him? Where? Up there. Well, there you are, Quack. What are you doing there? That's Quackers. That's my escape artist, Duck. And as you can see, you done escape. Now, Quackers, you come on back here right now. Quackers. Now, where are you going? Whoops, a daisy. Come here. Where are you going? Pardon me, madam. There's a duck under your bottom. Yeah. Take both hands and grab your bottom. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I better get me some help. Now, that's not what I meant, sir, and you know it. Shame on you. I'm looking for some kids. There's some kids out there. Well, let me rephrase that. Is there some kids out there? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we can only use 10 kids, so we're going to take the first 10 kids down here. So come on down, first 10 kids. We got one, we got two, three, four, five, five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's good. Okay, whoa, that's plenty right there. Okay, now, guys, we're going to break it down. Two teams, you come right over here, darling, right over here. Now, you guys right here are all going to be team number one. Is team one ready? Yeah! yeah. That's not bad, that's not bad. Now, you guys right here are all going to be team two. Is team two ready? Yeah! That was even better, yeah. Now you guys right here are all going to be the audience. Is the audience ready? Yeah! Is the audience all awake? Tell you what, pinch the person next to you and see if they're awake. Give them a big old pinch. Boy, you ever going to be black and blue tomorrow? He got it from both sides. Let's try this one more time. Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, then don't just stand there, find the duck. You guys go that way. You guys go this way. Check under the legs. Go to the top of the main thing. Takes, find that duck. Find it. Just checking. Okay. Quackers. Quackers. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ouch! Shame on you. Shame on you. I was looking for a duck, not a goose. Boy. Sir, be careful that crazy lady. She'll pinch you on the bottom. And you got a whole lot more barn to pinch than I do, buddy. <laughs> now, where'd that duck go? Quackers, quackers. Have y'all seen my duck? Where'd he go? Have you seen him? Where'd he go? Quackers, quack, quack, quackers. Have you seen him? Is he over there? Go get him, guys. Run, run, run. He's over here. Go get him. Hurry, run. Quick. Run, 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 run. Did you find him? Did you get him? He's got him! Whoa, wait, I was getting worried. Come on down here, bring him on down here. Here we go, right this way, right this way. Okay, now guys, wait a second here, wait a second. I saw somebody with a camera. <gasps> he's got a camera. Is he with you? Is he your, he's not, your, he's your dad. Okay, uh, tell you what, sir, come with me. You just come with me, hand her the camera. Okay. There you go, right this way, here you go, right like this. Here we go. Here we go, right down that way. Here we go, come with me, sir, right this way. Here we go, right this way. Now, ma'am, we got you something. We got you a man, yeah! I can see you're excited about that, too. Sit right down there, sir, just sit right down there. There you go. Here we go, just like this. And there you go, just like that. Now, he likes it when you do this, yeah. Did you see his little foot just go like that? Now I get to borrow the camera right there, and you get to borrow him. There you go, just like that. Now don't they make a cute couple? Oh, come on, you guys. Don't they make a cute couple? And guess what? They got kids. So all my kids come right over here, sit next to mom and dad. Right down here, just sit right down there. Sit right down there. We're going to take a big old family picture. Now, we want to get everybody in this picture, so all you guys here, just lean on in. Just lean on in. Sir, you're not leaning. Lean. There you go. And all you guys over here, just lean on in, too. Lean on in, too. She ain't got cooties, sir. You can lean in and breathe further than that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, on the count of three, everybody here yell Comedy Barn. Is everybody here ready? Yeah. Well, that sure ain't everybody. Is everybody ready? Yeah. There you go. One, snuggle up. Two, snuggle more. Three! And nothing happened. Well, the lens is closed. Why didn't you tell me that? How do you unclose the lens? 
Oh, there he goes, right like that. Okay, let's try that one more time. One, snuggle up again. Two, snuggle more again. Three! And we did it, we got him. <laughs> Boy, is that ever gonna confuse him on the Christmas cards next year. Now, don't go away, kids. Now, here you go, ma'am, here you go. Where are you going? You just sit right back down there, boy. Now, there you go, ma'am. If you want to, you can keep this one. As you can tell by the fancy way he's dressed, he's got money. Yeah. Give him a great big round of applause, guys. Now, all my kids, come right up here on stage. Right over here on stage. Just go right down that tree. Just go down as far as you can. There you go right there. Who's got the duck? Well, bring him over here. Here we go. I get to borrow him back again. Here we go. Come on up here, guys. Everybody up here. Here we go. Now, these guys are... You done lost him already. Boy, well, these guys all helped me find my duck, and I think they deserve a great big reward, don't you? Oh, come on, you guys, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So how about a great big kiss? <laughs> Relax, dude, I meant from the duck. Mwah. There you go. Now, what's your name? What's your name? Well, JJ, this is for you, too. We got you a duck chasing certificate. I can see you're excited about that, JJ. <laughs> Don't go away. Take that right down there to the bottom and hand those out to all the kids come down. Now, what's your name? Nathan? Yum. Nathan, it looks like your parents were scared by porcupines. There you go. Mwah. Come on down here, Nathan, right down there. Now, spread out, guys. Spread out a little bit so we can get everybody on here. Come on down here, Nathan. And what's your name? Hey, Cassie. Didn't. Didn't. Dun, 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 eh, eh. Come on down here to the bottom. Stand right there on the ground. And what's your name? Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Give me a great big old spooch Rooney. Mwah. There you go, Chrissy. Come here, darling. What's your name? Hi, Amber. You're a pretty little girl. You want to give a kiss? Go ahead. How about a peck on the cheek? Mwah. There you go, right there. Come on down here. What's your name, dude? Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Didn't. Didn't. Dun, 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 dun. Mwah! There you go, right down here. Come on down here to the ground. Come on all the way down the ground, guys. What's your name? Fonda. Well, hey, Fonda, you want to give him a kiss? Mm -mm. You don't have to if you don't want it. You want to pat him on the head? There you go. Can he pat you on the head? <laughs> there you go. Here you go. Well, come on down here to the ground, right down there. What's your name? Courtney. Well, we got to get these guys next. Okay, well, you're Courtney. Here you go, Nick Courtney. Mwah! Come on down here to the ground. Right down there, very guard round, guys. <laughs> I'm losing track here. What's your name? Hey, Angel. Give him a great big old spooch, Rooney. Little peck. There you go. Come on down here to the ground, guys. Go right down to the very bottom of the ground. Right down there. There you go. What's your name? Well, I can see you're excited, boy. Come on over here. What's your name? Hey, Justin. Come on over here. And what's your name? Hey, Hunter. Come on over here. And what's your name, darling? Come on down here to the ground, guy, so everybody can see, okay? Right down here, what's your name? Reagan. Well, hey, Reagan, you're a cutie. You want to give him a kiss? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Give it up for Reagan, yeah. Hi, what's your name? Eric. Hey, Eric, we're going to turn that around because he's liable to think you're his daddy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, hi there, what's your name? Well, hey, Nick. Look at all that red hair, boy. You know, dude, I wouldn't go outside in the rain anymore. Your head done rusted. Yeah. Here you go. Mwah. Come on down here. And what's your name? Lance. Hey, Lance. Give him a great big old spooch, Rudy. Lance. Tell you what, go ahead and give him a high five or a high three, whatever he happens to have. There you go. And what's your name? Hey, Grannon. Come on down here. And what's your name? Corey. Hey, Corey. Yum. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. You know, Corey, I'd stay away from Velcro if I were you. It could be dangerous, huh? Yum. Mwah. Right down there. What's your name? Well, hey, AJ, tell you what. Go ahead and shake his hand. There you go. Have you ever shaken hands with a duck before? Well, you still haven't, dude. That was his foot. <laughs> and what's your name? Justin. Hey, Justin. Da -da 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 Come on down here, Justin. Give him a great big round of applause, guys. Yeah. You guys done good. Don't go away. Don't go away. Now, you see the funny looking guy there waving his arms? Guess what? You're all on videotape. Yeah, we've been videotaping this entire thing. So tell you what, you guys, start waving as hard as you can. Harder than that, harder than that, harder than that, and say howdy!
Well, that's pretty good, but we want to get everybody involved. So guys, we got cameras there, 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 and right over here too. So we got every single person in this theater right now on camera. So everybody here, start waving as hard as you can. Harder than that, harder than that, harder than that, and say howdy! Because you're all on videotape and part of our family. Give these guys one more great big round of applause because they deserve it. You guys did good. Now wave goodbye, Quack, wave goodbye. We'll see you a little later. Bye-bye, everybody. And, folks, that was caught live on videotape. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nine minutes to go. Then we start our show. If you need to go to the bathroom, get up and go immediately. If you want a Coke, a popcorn, a pizza, get up and go. Nine minutes left. Then we start the show. your hands together folks somebody say six minutes to go before we open up these curtains. But before we do, we always have a few announcements, and announcement number one is welcome to Pigeon Forge! Thank you! This is our hometown, and we really hope you enjoy your entire stay with us here in our community, not just the time you spend here at the Comedy Barn. Now, announcement number two. We do not have a fire scheduled for tonight. So if you're sitting out there watching a fire develop, it's not part of our show. Although you will see smoke billowing out from behind the curtains every once in a while, that is part of the show, don't worry. Also, in the unlikely event that our toilets overflow, your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> Apparently some of you were here last week. Also, if you didn't read the back of your ticket and I'm guessing most of you didn't. It does say there very clearly that this show is captured live on videotape every single performance. There are video cameras all around the room. When these curtains open up, you will see video cameras pointed out at the audience. Now, they will pan the entire audience. They will zoom in on you. In other words, if you're having a bad hair day, fix your hair. If you're one of America's most wanted, get up now and leave. But if you're here to have a good time, and who came here to have a good time? Well then, put your arm around someone you love and smile, because you are on videotape. Oh, preferably someone you know, sir. Okay. <laughs> Happens every night. Now, uh, we always have a few special announcements. Tonight is no exception. If I call your name, it is not because I wanted to just pull your name out of a hat. It's because someone cares about you and wanted us to know about your special event. So when I call your name, please stand up and wave to the video camera, and everyone here will give you a huge round of applause. First of all, visiting us here from Tickfall, Louisiana, the Lighthouse Pentecostal Church. Where's, where's the Pentecostal Church from Tickfall, Louisiana? Where are you at? Stand up! Stand up and cheer! There they are! <laughs> Don't tell me y'all can't make some noise now. Woo! 
Also, we have uh, the youth group from the Church of God Mountain Assembly Church from New Boston, Ohio. Where are you at? There they are! And also, we have Corey Page celebrating his 7th birthday. Where's Corey at? Right there he is! Happy birthday, Corey! All right, well, folks, I'm glad to hear that so many of you came to have a good time because this place has a history of good times. I don't know if you know it, but on this very site, for over 20 years, was the Archie Campbell Hee Haw Theater. It's been completely rebuilt and turned into the comedy barn, and at intermission, back there at those doors, you will find a free, free, there's a word you don't hear much on vacation, a free souvenir program. Pick one of them up. Help yourself. They'll be right back there at the door. It's going to tell you about the theater and how it came to be what it is. It'll also tell you about the different performers that you're going to see on stage. Now, speaking of the performers we've got on stage, back behind this curtain, we've got magic, we've got puppets, comedians, jugglers, fire eaters, trained animals, a great band. Everybody's back there getting ready, and they sent me out front because they are scared of you. <laughs> they are. They sent me out here to make sure that you are ready for the show. For those of you not applauding, before our show has even begun, perhaps you haven't heard, the Comedy Barn is not your television set. <laughs> we can see you. And if you don't clap at our show, we will come out and get you. Much better, much better. But you know, it could be even better than that. You see, what we like is a loud crowd, an enthusiastic crowd that's going to laugh and cheer and clap and whoop it up and let us know what a good time you're having. So, in order to get you worked up to that rolling boil of enthusiasm that we like to see, we have found a great way to get our show started. We begin every single performance by actually giving away a $50 bill. And we do this for a very special reason. You see, you look like nice people, and we want a potentially violent mob. And we have found that nothing creates a violent mob faster than a $50 bill, except maybe a sale on Beanie Babies. So, on the count of three, not the count of two, the count of three. <laughs> Had some trouble last show. Anyway, on the count of three, for a $50 bill, I want someone here to get my attention by showing me what fun and enthusiasm is going to look like today. Now, you can stand up, you can wave, you can whistle, you can scream, you can holler. You ha may not, however, there are three rules. You may not stand on the chairs. That's not safe. Seriously. Rule number two, you may not throw small children into the air. Especially if they're not yours. As I said, had some problems in the last show. And rule number three, you can stand up, but you may not leave the area in front of your seat. You have to stay put, especially if you're planning on running down here and trampling me. Can't do that. Other than that, on the count of three, get my attention for a $50 bill. Ready? One, two. Look at them all getting ready. Three. I'm looking. I'm looking. Somebody. Somebody! Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! I got it! There's a gentleman in a black t-shirt! A big guy in a black t-shirt with a camera around his neck. Yes, sir! If you want that $50 bill, you run down here! Run! Everyone will give you a huge round of applause. Come on up here, buddy. Thank you. Hi there, what's your name? Kirk Berger. Kirk! Where are you from, Kirk? Williamstown, New Jersey. New Jersey! What exit? <laughs> All right, Kirk, now, they were all looking up here, trying to get my attention. So they don't know what a great job you did, and they don't know it was a fair choice. So, you have to show them what fun and enthusiasm is going to look like tonight. <laughs> Kirk, my friend, you looked a lot better out there. <laughs> but now, that's all right, because you're up here fair and square. So, are you sure you want the $50 bill? Because if you don't want it, I'll keep it. We just start the show. He'd be happy to say, he'd be happy to say, what a great guy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we here at the Comedy Barn are proud 
and enthusiastic to present Kirk from New Jersey with this $50 bill from the Gas and Electric Company. We get a lot of bills here at the Comedy Bar, and we appreciate you people from New Jersey coming to pay it for us. Thank you very much, sir. All right, wait a minute. Where are you running off to? We take Visa, MasterCard, Discover. Cash is always good. No, we can't do that to Kirk, can we? Woo, look at him turn on you like a wolf pack. Actually, Kirk, what we can do, sir, you know there's a lot of great places to eat in this town, and one of our favorites is right across the street. That is the Country Kitchen. Wonderful place to eat. They've got great food, and we have a meal for two for you, just for being a good sport. But wait, there's more. We have 14 different theaters in this town to go see a show at. And one of our favorites is right down the parkway. That is the Memories Theater. Anybody been there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? It's a great show. It's an Elvis show. They do a tribute to Elvis Presley. It's a wonderful show. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. And by the way, we sell their tickets out in our lobby, and we sell them $2 cheaper than they sell them themselves at their own theater. Now, why would they let us do that? because they know your show people, and they want to get a great crowd like this to go down and see them, and they've got two of them because you've got tickets for two for free. But wait, there's more. Well, there's another great show in town that is Country Tonight. Yeah. If you haven't been to see it, go see it. It's a wonderful show, and we sell their tickets out in our lobby, $2 cheaper than they sell them themselves, and you've got tickets for two for free. That's over a $100 value just for having a good time. Let's give this guy another big round of applause. Thank you very much, Kirk. That guy knows how to have fun. Do all of you? Yeah. Well, let's get after it then. Fasten your seatbelts and put your hands together for the funniest show in town, the Comedy Bar! Show in town, the comedy bar. That old cowboy right now is one dark and dusty day. I'm on the way to rest today, they wait a long way. When all at once the mighty herd of red eye counts up, I'll be back in Great big smoky mountain. Welcome here to the comedy bar. And if we get a dandy of a show lined up for you here tonight. But first, I'm gonna introduce to you all the members of the comedy bar band, and I'm gonna start right now with the prettiest member of our group. That's right, folks. Right, She's from right here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. She's on guitar and vocals. Please make welcome the lovely and talented Miss Debbie Bohan and hi Debbie. Hey Debbie! Yeah, Miss Debbie's pretty dumb and ready to go. And that folks out of Nolan, North Carolina. This young fellow's on guitar, vocals, and keyboard is my friend, Mr. Charlie King. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Debbie. Hey, folks. Yep, Charlie's all ready to go. Now, folks, about midway on the stage. Well, here at the comedy bar, we refer to him as our round mound. Top sound out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and lead guitar and vocals is my friend, Mr. Steve Curry. Hi, Steve. Yep, you can tell Steve's all ready to go. And then folks out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, the long, tall cowboy on bass guitar and vocals, that's my friend, Mr. Ron. Yep, Ron's all set. Now folks back there playing on the drums, now this young fella is out of a little town called Rusty Bucket, West Virginia, that's my friend, Mr. Buddy Klein. How you doing there, buddy? from Las Vegas, Nevada, would you put your hands together for the one and only Grandpa Duffy? Hi, everybody! Woo! 
we got a nice group of folks with us here tonight, and I can tell right now that everybody is ready to have some fun, so let's just get right up. <laughs> I think I just swallowed a hairball or something. I don't know. It don't make no never mind. I feel good and it's nice to see everybody out here tonight. And we got a bunch of surprises ahead of your way. In fact, folks, right now, how's about everybody? Put your hands together and let's all make welcome Lucky Lamb and Juggle and Jim. <laughs> Hey folks, you just never know what you're going to 
Jersey here at the Comedy Park. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Mr. Ron Jeffrey. Well, I went down to Sevierville County, and I saw something I just had to have. My mind told me just to see the caution. My heart said, go ahead, I'll make a bit on that. I said, hey, pretty lady, won't you give me a sign? I'm too really gonna make a bit on mine. I'll do your bit, please, you're making a call. I've never seen anyone looking so fine. Man, I gotta have her. She's a woman kind of boy, 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 boy. So the lady in the second row, she's an eight, she's a nine, she's a ten. I know she got ribbed, red lips, blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm about to bid my heart get Forty five dollar bid, dollar who looking for thirty dollar I'll take a thirty five dollar bid. Forty dollar I'll take a forty dollar who looking for forty dollar bid. Forty five dollar bid, dollar who looking for fifty dollar I'll take a fifty five dollar who got a fifty dollar sold out hawker, sixty dollar bid. She's an eight, she's a nine, she's a ten, I know she got ribbed red lips, blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm, I'm about to bid my heart goodbye. Mr. Ron Jeffrey, right there, ladies and gentlemen. got to tell you this audience is sounding awful good out here tonight as well and I can tell right now that everybody is ready for some more fun and laughter well what better way to do it than please make welcome to this stage right now Mr. Stephen Knowles come on out here Stephen. thank you thank you grandpa well how you folks doing tonight fantastic well listen I have to introduce you to someone actually that I just met myself uh, go ahead and say hi to the folks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice to be with you here tonight at the Funny Farm. No, hey. no. It's the Comedy Barn. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Tell us your name. Peter Pelican. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Why would we have heard of you? Oh, you know, from the old tongue twister. Tongue twister. No, that was Peter Piper. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. No, man, they stole that from me. It used to be Peter Pelican picked a peck of pickled tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait while you untwist your tongue. Thank you. <laughs> um, so uh, I guess I should tell you, he's actually here to audition for a new job. You know, usually when you go on an interview, it's not a bad idea to dress up. What's with the shorts? These are pelican briefs. <laughs> are you working now? No, I'm retired. Retired? You seem awfully young for that. What did you do? I was a deanie baby. What did you do before that? I used to lurk at the post office. Really? Yeah, that I got fired. How's that? Well, it was on account of lost nail. How to get lost? I carried it in my mouth. I don't understand. Well, you know, you hit a speed bump and... Oh! <laughs> yeah, it tastes like chicken. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Any other jobs? Yeah, I used to lurk at a bubblegum factory. Bubblegum? Yeah, that I got fired. How'd that happen? I fell in a vat of bubble gum. Oh man, the boss came by and chewed me out. <laughs> Apparently some of you lurk for the same guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, any others? Yeah, I used to lurk for the stork. Doing what? Delivering babies, duh. <laughs> <laughs> but I got fired. How'd you get fired? Well, you know how the stork carries a baby in a bag? Yeah. Well, I carried them in my mouth. No. Yeah, you had a little bit of turbulence and... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like chicken. Okay, stop. stop. I think we should just go on with your uh, audition. All right? What are you going to do? I'm the singer. Oh, okay. Hit it, monster. <laughs> it's, it's maestro. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> When the sun beats down and melts the tar up on the roof And your shoes get so hot you wish your tired feet were tired for the roof Under the boardwalk, down by the sea On a blanket with my 
baby, that's where I'll be. My bad. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun. Under the boardwalk. They'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. Under the boardwalk. They'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. From the park you hear the happy sounds of a carousel. This is fun. You can almost taste me. What? Whose audition is this? Sorry, I got carried away. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. on a blanket with my baby, that's where I'll be. Under the boardwalk, out of the sun, under the boardwalk, they'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk, people walking above. Under the boardwalk, we'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. <laughs> okay, so why won't you let me sing? Because you stink. <laughs> I stink. Man, you have got rotten fish breath. You ain't no better roses, pal. Sorry. What do you call him anyway? Lunch. Oh, under the boardwalk, down by the sea, on a blanket with my baby, that's where I'll be. All right, here's your big chance. What? Out of the sun. Help him out, folks. We'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. Keep on walking on the Under the boardwalk. We'll be falling in love. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, keep it going. I need the job. Thank you. Well, do I get the job? <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> sounds like you're outnumbered. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I have one question. What? What happened to your little backup singer? Oh. Well, um, you know how I had to carry him in my mouth? Yeah. Well, we should now have a moment of silence. Why? Uh. Oh, man. That smells like fish. Yeah, but it tastes like chicken. Say goodbye. Good night, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you for that wonderful round of applause. Um, it just makes what I have to say now even harder, though. <laughs> um, the reason I'm having to audition new talent on stage in front of a real audience is, uh, well, I just flew in from out of town, and at the airport, my bags got lost, and my dummies were in them. <laughs> so in order to finish my act, I'm going to have to borrow a couple of... Uh, Shall we say assistance from the audience? I'm, I'm looking for a couple of uh, guys, a couple of big guys, grown guys, guys with big smiles on their faces, like the guy in the blue ball cap right there on the second row. Yes, sir, let's get him up here on stage. Give him a big round of applause. And the guy on the third row right there in the blue shirt. Yes, sir, you, sir. Come on, let's give both these guys a big round of applause and come up on stage. Hey, there, buddy, what's your name? Colin. Colin, where are you from? Kentucky. Kentucky. And you are? Dwayne. Dwayne. Dwayne, where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Dwayne, if you would, step right over here, sir. And I need you to stand right about there. That'll be perfect. And if you would, step right over here. And if you could, I need you to take your hat off for me. And then, <laughs> don't worry about the hat here. In a minute, they won't recognize you. Turn all the way around and look at these doors back here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you realize it, but we actually have a couple of celebrities in the audience with us here tonight, and uh, they have been very nice and decided that they would join me up here on stage. Can't tell you how excited I am, because, well, I'm a really big fan of both of these guys, so I know you're going to be just as thrilled as I am when you see who it is. Some of y'all are getting ahead of me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and help me welcome to the stage Willie Nelson and Julio Iglesias. <laughs> yes, it's a Kodak moment. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, now, if you've, if you've got your camera, get it ready. We'll do this all at once on the count of three. Guys, look straight ahead. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Somebody send me a copy of that, please. Now, I know I speak for everyone. <laughs> everyone on stage, anyway. <laughs> when I say that we would love to hear a little bit of the song that made you guys famous as a duo. <laughs> to all the girls I've loved before. That'd be all right? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Is that all right with you? So. You know, my parents spent a lot of money sending me to college. <laughs> Somehow they don't think this is as funny as you do. <laughs> to all the girls I've loved before. To all the girls I've loved before Who've traveled in and out my door I'm glad they can along, I dedicate this song to all the girls I love before. All the girls who shared my life and now are someone else's life. For everything need to grow, I know a lot I know. To holy girls I the love the whole. Let's give these guys a big hand. Good all sales. <laughs> I like that little arm thing you were doing there. <laughs> That's good. We're hiring. <laughs> good all sales. <laughs> Well, guys, it's been a, a, a lot of fun having you up here with me. I appreciate you helping me out. Uh, hey, look at that. We got time to take some requests. <laughs> well, I mean, that is as long as you guys are, you know, don't mind. Oh, no, we'd love to. <laughs> Honey, we not as lay well along as we're up here. <laughs> is that all right with you? Sir. Okay. Uh, old McDonald. <laughs> okay, Old McDonald. <laughs> Everything all right? Yeah, just trying to run into the words. <laughs> old McDonald had a farm. He and on this farm he had a had a duck. <laughs> you sure about that? No, not really. Okay. <laughs> he Lay the clack clack here, on the clack clack there, here a clack, let a clack, and a layer clack clack. Old MacDonald had a farm. He I
<laughs> Get all the <yells. laughs> Well, guys, it's been a great honor being on stage with two such wonderful performers. Hey, look at that. We got time for one more request. Well, I mean, that, that is as long as you guys are still having fun. Oh, man, you kidding? I hadn't had this much fun since the IRS left. <laughs> That all right with you? Say. So, okay. <laughs> Do the alphabet song. The alphabet song? You heard me. <laughs> yeah, all right. People always want to see a ventriloquist do the alphabet. Get to watch me do all the hard letters. All right, here we go. Watch the lips. <clears throat> a, D, C. You guys are good. I've had crowds that didn't get that joke. <laughs> A, D, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, D, e, J, K, L, N, N, O, P. Q, R, S, N, T, U, V. Double U X and Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time on you who sing with me. And folks, that's Mr. Stephen No. Don't tell me the reason why you're calling. It's to see if I'm all right since you've been gone. Cause I know you and I know why we're talking. You're wanting me. Woo-hoo! <laughs> you must 
me one of them good hands fables from all state. <laughs> you see what he did, Chief? Granny, we got a show going on in here this evening. I said we've got a show going on in here this evening. Oh, I'm glad you know what's going on in here this evening. <laughs> Never, you better do something with your granny. Uh, 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 hey there, Bronco Billy. Hi, Hi everybody. Uh, hi, Miss Debbie. Hey, Granny. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, but Granny, how'd you get in here tonight? I came in on my son-in-law's ticket. You came in on your son-in-law's ticket? Yeah. Well, where's your son-in-law at? He's outside hunting his ticket. <laughs> hey, Miss Debbie, you like my new dress? Granny, that's a lovely dress. Well, actually, it's an Oni dress. An Oni dress? Only one I could find I could get all that into. <laughs> I don't know, Granny. <laughs> he better quit picking on me. He better have That's him. right. You know, Granny, you look really great tonight. Oh, thank you, sweetie. But tell me, uh -huh. how do you feel? How do I feel? Ha! I feel good. Like I knew I would. I feel good. Like I knew I would. So good. So good. Baby, I want you. if you take a deep breath. I did! <laughs> <laughs> Granny, you never did tell me what you was doing in here tonight. I come in to sing a song and, and, and play a tune on my guitar. You can play the guitar? <gasps> oh, thank you very much. You hold that, I got my tacos in there. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll play this little rascal right there. Boom! <laughs> You better quit picking on me, you billy goat looking thing. And another thing, stay away from my farm. You're confusing my goats. Every time he comes down to the farm, the goats run to the fence and go, Daddy! Woo! I told you to leave me alone. You better sit down and quit while you're ahead, you ZZ top wannabe. <laughs> hey, folks, I taught, I, 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 yeah. I taught Charlie this song back when, in the first grade. He, we're going to sing it for you now. <laughs> now. Maybe you better try the one I taught you ten years later. In the second grade. Ah. Maestro? That's a ticket! Come on, everybody, put your hands together out there! Woo, we got a nice audience with us here tonight! Well, I found a farm is a kind of laid back Ain't much more this gal can't hack Early to rise, early in the sack Thank God I'm a country gal! the country we got folks from all over the country 
Andrew with us here tonight. We got any Yankees out here? How'd y'all get here, scholarship? Hey folks, if you're from the North and you're proud of it, get up and dance for the video because the song is for you. Tonight, you all get to be the wind. Now, anytime I say the wind blows, y'all put your hands high in the air and you go, Ooh. 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 Here we go, gang. The wind blows. Ooh. Now, that's breaking wind. Everybody on this side of the room tonight in our little story, you get to be the rain. Anytime I say the rain falls, y'all put your hands high in the air and you go, tinkle, 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 tinkle. <laughs> and the rain falls. You've tinkled before. And now, gang, I need three people over the age of 18, somebody who's like the life of the party. Somebody who likes to have some fun. Point them out. We'll find ourselves some volunteers. Over 18, please. Over 18. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one's going to be? Boys, girls, which one? Who's the best? This guy right here. Come on up here. You'll be great. All right, I'm looking for volunteers. 
volunteers, where I like you, come on up here. Move your feet, the rest will follow. Come on up here. Make your way right up on the stage, and I'm gonna go on the other side of the room and pick one more. I need a feller. I need a volunteer. I got a part for you. Come on up here. And let's give all of these folks a nice round of applause. Sir, you stand right there. Miss, you right here in the middle, and you, sir, right there. Let's take a quick moment to meet and greet these fine volunteers. Hi, I'm Jim. What's your name? Debbie. Debbie, where are you from? Boston, Ohio. Ohio! All right. Well, Debbie, tonight in our little story, you get to play the heroine. Your name is going to be Mary. And your lines are very simple. The moment I say the name Mary, and I mean the split second you hear the mmm of Mary, you run up here and you go, help me, help me, save me, save me. <laughs> and remember, y'all, you got to be loud so they can hear you in the very back row. Super loud, help me, help me, save me, save me, jump up and down, your life is in pretend danger. You're acting. Watch this, she's going to be great. All right, Debbie, here you go. Mary cried out. Save me, save me. Yes! Good job, Yeti. Great job. Thank you for coming up, sir. What's your name? Paul. Paul, where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, two Ohioans, my guys. Well, Paul, today you're going to be Big Bart the Villain. All right. First of all, look big. Good job. <laughs> You know, like a barrel chest, you know? That barrel's rolled on down the hill, ain't it, buddy? All right, you're looking big. Look mean. Look out there and go, Arr. Ooh, you're good. All right, you're big. You're mean. You're ugly. You're perfect. <laughs> it's a joke. All right, your lines are very simple, Paul. When your turn comes, I need you to leap forward. Point at her. And at the top of your lungs, you're going to say, I'm gonna kill ya with venom. All right? All right. Watch this, Davis. And Big Bart said, I'm gonna kill you with venom! <laughs> you did great. Paul, Paul, that was fine, except you say it with venom. You don't kill her with venom. Why not? You're not a snake. Oh, I miss. Just loud and enthusiastically. You did that perfect. He's good. Thanks for coming up, sir. What's your name? Alan. Alan, where are you from? Virginia. Virginia! Ohio got more applause. <laughs> yeah. Alan, you're going to play John the Hero. Oh, yes. Put your hands on your hip like Superman. Now look out there and smile. Your prettiest smile. That's all you get, folks. <laughs> all right, now when your turn comes, just say as I say and do as I do. When your turn comes, I need you to leap forward, point at him with a pretend pistol and say, stop. Stop or I'll shoot. Notice the wiggle. A lot of wiggle. That makes a hero. Ooh. And John the Hero said... Stop, we're all Woo, you guys are great. This is going to be fun. <coughs> going to be fun. Now, somewhere in the story, I am going to say the words, Suddenly there was a shot, and I want the entire crowd to yell, Bang, bang! Wait for your cue. Suddenly there was a shot! Wow, we have got a fabulous audience. I've got one great cast. It's time for the story to begin. Steve Curry, please. It was a dark, dark, dreary night in the Smoky Mountains. And if you listen, you could hear the wind blowing. You can hear the rain falling down. High up 
upon Old Smokey was a log cabin. And on that log cabin, a storm broke out. The wind began to howl. The rain was really coming down. And in that log cabin sat Mary, our heroine. Wait, not yet. Back, back, back. Sat our heroine. She was knitting a doily for a poor sick neighbor. Knit! Play with me here. Work with me. She was knitting a doily because she was beautiful on the inside as well as the out. As she sat there knitting, the wind was blowing. The rain was falling. Well, unbeknownst to her, just a few short miles away was an insane asylum. You scared me. <laughs> and who had just escaped? <laughs> Our villain. He was lurking through the woods. Lurking through the woods. He rounded a tree and came on back through the forest, lurking and lurking. <laughs> I don't know if it was a lurk or a constipated walk. <laughs> Well, he came upon that log cabin and he peered into the window. You've looked in windows before, ain't you? <laughs> well, he started getting ideas in his head. Aloud, he said, ha, 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 ha. Woo, you're good. Well, he couldn't take it anymore. He kicked in the door. He left inside and yelled. I'll kill you. Close enough. <laughs> Mary screamed. Go team, go! <laughs> well, just at that time, coming home from a Walt Disney movie and skipping merrily through the woods was a hero! As he skipped through the woods, he heard Big Bart yell. He heard Mary scream. What happened to your jumping, girl? <laughs> Mary, take three. He heard Mary scream. <laughs> Woo, you go, girlfriend. <laughs> Believe it or not, her cries were heard. A hero kicked in the back door. It was unlocked. <laughs> he leapt inside and said, No, or I'll shoot you with my gun. <laughs> Suddenly there was a shot. <laughs> Our villain was hit <laughs> in the chest, I guess. <laughs> he staggered over there and spun around. And around, and around, and he fell dead on the ground over there. Our hero went to the beautiful maiden, smiled his prettiest smile. Our villain began to twitch. <laughs> Woo, there's a whole lot of twitching going on. <laughs> he let out a loud moan. <laughs> and then, with his final gasp, <laughs> I said, Gasp! <laughs> 
Hey, weren't they great? Give them Ladies and gentlemen, Juggle and Jim, the comedy bar and storyteller, and a special thanks to all of Jim's wonderful volunteers. They call it the Little Mountain Big Bill Day in a few But the big I shook my mug if you Fill up my jug with a good old Mountain Dew While my Uncle Mone is out up and short Where's he in about four foot two? He thinks he's a giant when you Give him a pint of that good old Mountain Dew Everybody will they call it I took my mug if you fell up my jug with a good old mountain dew. You can get information on all of the area shows. You can buy tickets right there, several of them at a discounted rate. Over at Bell's Mall, entrance to door number two, discount show tickets. The BP Super Up, the Walmart Superstore, and the lobby of our very own theater. Convenient one-stop show shopping, two dollars off or more on a lot of the shows in ticket, or a lot of the shows in town. Two dollars off for Louise, Country Tonight, Memories, all the great shows in town. So keep that in mind if you got some more show shopping to do. And a lot of people love to bring groups to our theater. Well, if you or if you know somebody who is involved in a convention, a trade show, a family reunion, a youth group, a church group, a school group, a senior group, we would love to entertain them. Please ask at the ticket office for the Comedy Barn Tour Planner. This would have all the information you or a friend needs to book a group of 20 or more right here at the funniest show in town. Everybody wants to be announced tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so stand up proudly, make some noise so we know right where you are, get our attention. First of all, Brian Boone, it's your birthday. Where are you, Brian Boone? Right there, 20 years old, give him a hand. All right, Brian. And Chad Driscoll. Chad, where are you? It's your birthday. Chad is 11 years old. 11. Woo. Texas. Texas. All the way. He's 31. Hey, Tex, where are you from? Ohio. Tex, happy 31st, buddy. And today we have a large group tonight from the Bahamas. Hey. Which island? What? Anuka Island. Beautiful. I'll tell you folks, if you have a chance to check out any of the great islands down there, do so. It's gorgeous. And they got here by car. <laughs> Callie Thompson, it's your birthday. Where's Callie? Callie's all the way in the back. Callie, are you nine years old today? Stand up and say yeah. And Morris and Judy Ellington are celebrating an anniversary. Where's the Ellingtons? I hear a woo. Hey, how many years? Give her a big kiss. Give her a kiss. Oh, everybody go on. And we have three birthdays in one family. Jean Gotts is the 2nd of July. Where's Jean? Stand up. Stand up, Jean. You're not that old. You can't stand up, darling. Because we happen to know Andy Berenborg and his grandpa, Art Gotts, both born on the 4th of July, 50 years apart. Stand up! Stand up! And Gene and Art stand up again. I just noticed. Gene, Art, up! Ladies and gentlemen, the Gots are going to give themselves a big kiss. Go ahead and kiss. They are celebrating their 40th anniversary as well. God bless you. That's fantastic. Well, you know what? 
All those folks from the Bahamas are ready to have some more fun. Are all of you ready? Well, everybody, you know we love a loud crowd, so let's make a lot of noise and welcome back this great man. Wish that I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on a rocky top, ain't no telephone bill. Once I had a girl on a rocky top, half by the other half can. Wild as a mean but sweet as soda pop, I still dream about me. Rocky top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky top, Rocky top Tennessee, Rocky top Tennessee. Grandpa Duffy. big hand here for our con comedy barn cluggers yeah great job again folks welcome back to the second half and right now ladies and gentlemen it's the time in the program we've all been waiting for that's right folks it's time right now for arnold the mind reading pig come on out here arnold demands his regular introduction. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. This is Arnold, the world-famous mind-reading pig. And in order for this fantastic little pig to read somebody's mind, everybody in the room has got to believe. I believe. Uh-oh. What row? What? Believe it or not, I feel a disbeliever in the room. No. It looks like everybody. Look at these people. <laughs> yeah, well, point out one. Well, if you're going to make me point out one person that's more of a disbeliever than anybody else, why, it would certainly have to be that man right there. What is your name, sir? Greg. Greg, stand up. Greg, move your feet. The rest will follow. Stand right there, my friend, and we are going to make a believer out of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg does not believe that is a mind-reading pig. Therefore, in my hand, I hold the official Sevier County phone book, full of all the names and all the phone numbers of all the nice people who live right here in beautiful Sevier County. Greg, my friend, out of this entire book, pick one person's name, one person's phone number, and memorize it. Thank you very much. All right. Stand there and prepare to be amazed by Arnold, the mind reading pig. Arnold, read. read. Go ahead, read. Arnold, read. Arnold, read. read. Arnold, read. read. Oh, rats. He won't read a bit. Do you know why? 
because he minds reading, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? He minds reading. He minds <laughs> reading. <laughs> hey, laugh it up. It don't get no better. No, it doesn't. Greg, why don't you sit down? You look ridiculous standing there, but they'll give you a nice round of applause. Thank you, Greg. Greg. I think you people realize that was just a cheap trick to get Greg on the video. That's what it was. Everybody here knows that's a mind-reading pig, and Jim is going to prove it. Go ahead. In my hand, a Ritz cracker. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> Oh, they taste good. I love crackers. I'm going to take the, his cracker, hide it behind my back, and Arnold will discover it. He will. How you ask. I'm asking. By reading my mind. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, Arnold. I've got a hidden. Yeah. And now, I'm constipating. No, no. <laughs> constipating. No, that'd be bad. No. Concentrate! That would be better! Sorry. Arnold! Read my mind! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you have been waiting Which for. Which hand, Arnold! This is going to pay the big money to Which see. Don't you really feel wonderful about it? Arnold, Which Try to contain your enthusiasm. Just stupid pig is over, over here. here! Yes, Arnold, this is over here! This is the Wait moment. a minute! Is... Look! He did it! He did Woo. it! done it before good pig well i'm sure that proves it to everybody here this indeed is a mind reading pig but of course just look around everybody yo what do you mean uh oh we've got a problem in the front row you don't mean that guy Greg! Look at him sitting there going, I would have guessed one out of two for a rich cracker. Look at him. Well, all right, Greg. Here. <laughs> Look at him dive for that cracker. <laughs> they are good. They are tasty. Hey, I know what I'm going to have to do. Get him a Coke. It's time to prove it once and for all. Time for me to break out the big guns. No, no. It's it is not my fault. I did not hurt you. Prediction! Jim? The... The pig <laughs> prediction! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my hands tremble and Arnold's tail stops wagging. <laughs> the very instant... <laughs> he got even. <laughs> <laughs> the very instant the pig prediction is even pronounced. Ladies and gentlemen, take a good look. This is not your normal mind-reading pig. No, that is a mind-transferring pig. Hey, 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 hey. Wow, great special effects. Yeah, we got that at Radio Shack. <laughs> Yeah, this ain't the Louise Mandrell Theater, if you haven't noticed by now. Nope. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this incredible little pig has such an incredible little brain. Woo! That little pig can actually Woo! transfer a thought yes. from his teeny weeny pig brain. Do -do 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 right into Greg's brain. Wouldn't that be worth the price of admission, ladies and gentlemen? Man, you people must be starved for entertainment. <gasps> Woof. Okay, Greg, by popular demand, stand up. Approach the stage, and as you come forth, please clear your mind of all intelligence. Well, that didn't take long. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Arnold will now take his forehead. He will press it directly against Greg's forehead. Forehead to forehead, the two will From find his no brain to his brain. Uh, Watch the transfer happen. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Boy, you almost got a rich cracker you didn't want, buddy. <laughs> Step forward. Look directly at Arnold and don't move. Arnold, transfer that thigh. Here he comes. Now move. Woo! Oh! Did you feel that? Yes. 
I'm sure you did. You've got a pig booger in your hair. <laughs> I hate that snout's not, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Folks, this miracle of a pig has taken a thought and placed it in Greg's brain. Greg! Take one finger, put it high into the air. High in air. Now take that finger. Point it at anybody you do not know. Has not been in our show, and it will be their photograph I'm holding before you. Point at anybody except Jennifer. Point at anybody. Who are you pointing at? Where is she pointing? That lady in her, the stripes? Ma'am, what is your name? Look at the happiness on her face. <laughs> Man. Make friends You know how to make friends. Go. Wow. <clears throat> Hello? Lady, hey, here's a cracker. <laughs> it's not a show stopper, but it sure slows it down. What is you? your name? What'd you say? Denise. That's Denise. what I thought she said. <laughs> stand Denise, up. Denise, stand up. Just turn around, show everybody what you look like. This is a minor miracle. <laughs> Denise, you can turn back around. You did real good. Here's the cracker I promised you. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated, Denise. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen her stand before you. I am asking everybody in this room probably the most powerful question of your lives. Folks! Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Folks, if I was actually holding a picture... What was her name again? <laughs> That's Denise! That's what I said. If I was actually holding a picture of Denise in my hand, wouldn't you all be amazed say, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey. Oh, come on. You have seen our show so far. If I was really holding a picture of Denise, wouldn't you really be shocked? Say, oh, yes. <laughs> I thought so. As a matter of fact, if I was really holding a picture of Denise in my very hand, wouldn't each and every single one of you immediately leap up out of your seats, or run over there, and buy a copy of tonight's show on video? <laughs> you cheap, rotten people! Well, get your wallets out anyway. It is a lovely picture of Denise. Six weeks old, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And now gentlemen. that was our come on, hey. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please. Welcome the magic of Michael Keating and his wonderful assistant, Quacker. Yeah! Hey, we're back! Oh, wait! Boy, oh, you guys are good! Let's try this side. Yeah! How y'all doing tonight? Oh, come on now. You can do better than that. How y'all doing tonight? on the show for you. In fact, right now, I'd like to introduce you to my bestest pal in this entire world. He's my pet duck, Quackers. Hey, Quack, come here. I know, I know, I was just about telling that. Now, Quackers here has got a brand new illusion he'd like to show to you fine folks today. But to do this, we need to borrow us a little boy or a little girl from the audience. So if you got one you're not using, just go ahead and raise other hands, big and tall, big and tall. Well, we, well, tell you what, in order to make this fair, we're going to go with the one that makes the most noise, that makes the noise! Oh, you make noise! We got to go with whoever makes the most noise! They're going crazy! Well, we, what was that? I'll tell you. They're all great, but there's a girl in black and white there that's doing jumping jacks. I'm sorry, she's got to be darling. Come on down, that little girl right there. Give her a great big round of applause. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. We can only use the one that makes the most noise. So come on down, run as fast as you can. Run, 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 run. Right this way, here, hold my duck. Hold good and tight, don't let him loose. And follow me right this way. Come on down here, check this out. MDMD, MDMD, MDMD. MDMD, go ahead, ma'am, feel around, feel around. No, the bucket, not me. Shake. 
Shame on you. I'll meet you after the show, yeah. Check it out, guys. MDMD, MDMD. Come right this way, darling, right over here. Here we go, right over here. Hi there. What's your name? Vonda. Vonda, the audience, the audience, Vonda. Whoa, wait, you got your own fan club out there, Vonda. Well, tell you what, let me borrow back quack. Now, tell me what, do you like magic? That's good, because we're about to do a magic trick. Put out your hands like this. There you go. That's good, that's good. Give this a great big old bear hug all the way around. Hold it all the way around. Give it a hug just like you're hugging daddy. There you go. Are you ready? I can see you're excited. Are you ready? Well, then let's do it. You stay right there. You stay right here. I'll be right back. Now, quack. We're going to ride from here into Vonda's bucket, okay? Mwah. Now, here we go. And we did it, Vonda. It's gone. You know, I thought they'd be a whole lot more excited than that. Now, what are you doing that? The lady over there, oh, over here. Oh, you think that's my bunch, my duck right there? No, that's my favorite rabbit, Stu. Hey, Stu. Here we go, Vonda. It's Quackers. Whoa, wait. You did good. Hey, well, come here. How did you do that? You don't know? Well, you did a good job anyway. Tell you what, let's take a big old bow. Come right this way. Big old bow. Show business, boy. Well, tell you what, Bonda, we're beginning to look like a water pump up here. Tell you what, give me a high five. Give me a high five and give the amazing Bonda a great big round of applause. You did good. You go back seat now if you want. What a cutie. Hey, would you like some more? Oh, come on, you guys. Would you like some more? Let's do it. Here we go. Mama doesn't know she's leaving till she is screaming, to slam and rubber, squealing gears and jamming a local country station just to play it on the radio. Pick him up at seven and they're headed to the rodeo. Mama's on the front porch screaming out on her. You better get your red head back in bed for the morning. The show is in him, but the fun is just beginning She knows he's anticipating, but she's gonna keep him waiting Grab a bite to eat, and then they're headed to the honky talk A loud crowd's line, and she just take what they really want Drive down to the boom docks, park down by the creek Hey, where it's your straight, real late That's your cheek to cheek Well, they ain't going down till the sun comes up I ain't giving in till they get enough Well, they ain't going down the world in a pickup truck Till the sun comes up Well, it's whining, and to me, I start to heart on it. So one o'clock, I drug is rocking, two is coming, two will stop and take a ticket. Clock at three, they're arriving where they want to be. Four o'clock, get up and going. Five o'clock, you should go Till the sun comes up
Six o'clock Saturday, air pulls on oh, he's on his way. The stalls are clean, the horses fed. They say she's grounded until she's dead. Well, here he comes around the bend, slowing down, she's jumping in. Pain while you're not and they're going in hell. The sun comes up. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of Michael Keating and his wonderful assistant, Wacker. Great job, Michael and Quackers. Hey, folks, you know, for over 20 years on this very property was the original Archie Campbell Hee-Haw Theater. Well, folks, right now the comedy barn would like to present a salute to the Hee-Haw Classic. have to excuse him he's a little bit shy about three bricks shy do this song the way we rehearsed it if it's possible everybody look dignified Problem, pretty boy, you posing for a picture. As a matter of fact, you are right over there. You scared him. I scared him. Uh -huh. Get back over here. Now look, just do this song the way we rehearsed it, okay? And I promise, no smiling now. I promise I won't scare you no more, okay? So much the taters need digging Corn in the fields it needs picking now How well I remember first time I saw you You look so pretty pulling that
What's so funny, he ain't doing nothing. Lord knows he don't have to. Back up here, Twinkle Toes. We'll get back up here. We need a Buddy Holly impersonator or something. Get up here! <laughs> now look, Charlie. I... Charlie, look at me. Charlie, I said look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look, Charlie, I told you to be serious. This is a love song. Your lips are as red as boys and berries. Your ears look like a big cabbage leaf. Your eyes bug down like an old pop-eyed mullet. Your hair's like haywire and hangs to your feet. I went over and thought I found you love You met another man <laughs> <laughs> You got here good, didn't you? Hey, go, Charlie, you're really going to need that <laughs> He ain't throwing it back this time, is he? <laughs> you're doing a good job, Jimmy Thanks You do me a favor, though Sure could you just kind of keep an eye on that lady right there? She makes me nervous. Jim, you want to leave that woman alone? Now, you had six kids and I had eleven. Then we had eight more just blooming like flowers. I wish you'd come home and help me, my darling. Your kids and my kids are beating up ours. Ladies and gentlemen, a salute to the Hee Haw Classics right there. Great job, guys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> if you know the words, sing along with us. Well, it's a circle, broken. How can life be so cold 
world, where did all the water go that my boat was floating on yesterday? Has my ship ran aground, or have I finally found that the ocean I was on was just a bay? As I stand here on the shore, I can hear the ocean roar. The tide's gone out, I'm stranded on my own. Not a love, not a friend, but on God I can be there. You show me the light and say, so leave me on. And I say, and I say, and I think every place I've been And I start life and you some sweet day Singing praise the Lord for showing me the way Singing praise the Lord for showing me the way Some glad morning when this life is over I'll fly away to a land on God's list shore folks all through life people are looking for that Shenandoah what's beyond that next mountain what's over that next hill and you know the thing of it is folks if each and every one of us were just to let the good Lord be a part of our lives have love and respect for our families and our friends <laughs> If we were all to do that, we already will have found our Shenandoah. Oh, Shenandoah, I yearn to see you away here on.
Oh God, look away, look away, look away, Dixie away. If you still like to pick up a copy of tonight's show, you can sign up at either one of the souvenir cabins. And if you haven't got your keychains, it will be right down here at the edge of the stage. And if you'd like to come up here and visit Arnold and the whole cast, you're more than welcome. And folks, if you could take your